Hello viewers, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to put internal bevel incision. But before I do that, let us discuss the basic incisions that are used in surgical periodontal therapy. Now this incision that you see here is called as the curettage incision. This is used in curettage procedure which is aimed at removal of the pocket lining. This incision that you see here is called as the external bevel incision. It is used in the gingivectomy procedure. This incision that you see here is called as the internal bevel incision. Now this incision is given 0.5 to 2 mm away from the gingival margin and it is directed towards the alveolar crest. It is used in modified wooden flap surgery. Now this incision that you see here is called as the circular or cravicular incision. It is directed towards the alveolar crest from the gingival crevice. This is also used in the modified wooden flap or the modified flap operation. Now this incision that you see here is called as the incision for partial thickness flap. Now as you can see that in this incision we are not elevating the flap completely but we are leaving the periosteum along with the bone. So This is used for partial thickness flaps. This incision that you see here is called as the modified incision for legend wedge technique. Now legend wedge technique is used for elimination of gingival enlargement on the palatal aspects of the molar. It includes two incisions which remove the enlarged gingiva and the margins of the gingiva they are again adapted to the tooth surface. So before we put the incision we do bone sounding to find out the margins of the alveolar bone. So bone sounding is done by putting the periodontal probe horizontally and vertically and feeling the resistance from the bone. Now after we have visualized the bone margins we start with the incision. You can see that the blade has been placed around 45 degree angle to the tooth surface and we put this incision 0.5 to 2 millimeter away from the gingival margin towards the alveolar crest. Now the thickness of the incision can be varied according to the thickness of the gingiva in that area and this is how we put the incision. Now you can see the malformed gingival margins so we have to include these into the incision so that a fine gingival margin can be achieved. Now you can, you can see here that the incision line is very clear and we have a triangular wedge of the tissue after we have put this incision. In the same way the incision is repeated on the palatal aspect. You can use contra angle BP handle because in the molar areas it is difficult to put internal bevel incision with straight BP handle and this is how we complete the incision. Thank you very much for watching.